Hi folks, Tom Morgan from Farsight. In the following video, I'm going to show you how to do a cylinder compression test. We may ask you to do this test, and using our methods, we should get the results we need to diagnose a problem engine. I'm going to show you how to do the test on a single cylinder, but remember, we're going to have to repeat these steps on each of the remaining cylinders as it is a comparison test. If you do not have a starter switch or a way to access the starter, you will need a helper to help you crank the engine. And remember, the battery needs to be fully charged or connected to a maintainer. Before we get started, remember to read the instructions and safety precautions provided with your tool. Prepare engine for testing. Disable the ignition and fuel delivery system. Remove spark plugs. Install test adapter. Connect gauge to test adapter. Have assistant crank engine five revolutions or puffs of the needle on gauge. Hold accelerator pedal to the floor. Watch the gauge. Record first puff or peak of needle. The first puff should be 50% of total PSI. Record fifth puff or peak of needle. Most cars expect to see 140 to 160 PSI. Multicam cars up to 180 PSI. 10% difference indicates the beginning of a problem. 25% is the cutoff for most manufacturers. For example, if 3 out of 4 cylinders are 160 PSI, 1 out of 4 is 140, that cylinder has a sealing issue. Further testing would be required. Remember folks, always check the manufacturer's specification for the engine you are testing. Running compression is a good way to test an engine's volumetric efficiency, the engine's ability to breathe. Use it to locate a possible issue with the valve train. Restore engine and prepare it for testing. Warm engine up. Remove spark plug from cylinder to be tested. Disable ignition and fuel to that cylinder. Install test adapter. Be sure the Schrader valve is removed from the adapter. Install compression gauge to adapter. Start engine. Allow to idle. Bleed pressure from gauge. Allow pressure to build. Record pressure. Most engines will be about 90 to 100 PSI. A 10% deviation between cylinders indicates a problem. If pressure is too high, expect exhaust valve issue. If pressure is too low, expect intake valve issue. Remember folks, always check the manufacturer's specification for the engine you are testing. 